Hey there, today we're diving into a topic we get asked about all the time. What kind of account should someone have on Instagram? If you're a business owner navigating the Instagram landscape, this one's for you. Stick around because we're about to break it all down. But before we dive in, welcome to our channel. If we haven't met yet, I'm Subi Zimmerman. And I'm Morgan Sutton, and we're the team behind at the Instagram expert. Together, we've helped thousands of women make sales for their business on Instagram. If you haven't followed us over there yet, hop on over at the Instagram expert, and we're dropping tips there every day. So we'd love to connect with you there. Okay, so here is where we start. If you're running a business on Instagram, you should not be using a personal account. Instead, you should use what Instagram calls a professional account. You want to do this because there are special features that are available for professional accounts that business owners will love to have. And we'll go over all that in this video. Yes. So I'm going to share my screen over on your Instagram account. If you already have this enabled, your bio will look something like this when you're logged in. It shows that you have a professional dashboard. See in the middle of the screen. So if you're logged in on your phone and you don't see this, that means you're still set to a personal account. Exactly. And while you have this screen shared going on here, Morgan, can you show them where the settings can be found? If you go to a personal profile, you tap the three lines in the upper right hand corner. Then you tap settings and privacy, that first option there. And from there, if you scroll down, you will see a spot that says for professionals, count types and tools. If you tap on that, there will then be options to switch to a professional account or log into one, right? If you have another one available, when you click switch to professional account, it will then ask you to progress through, continue and select the category, which best describes you continue, continue, which we would suggest setting to entrepreneur. We'll explain why later if I hit done. Once you hit done, it's going to ask you, are you a creator or a business account, which is what we're talking about in this video. So you're going to pick the one that is best for you based on what we talk about in the next few minutes. And there are a few differences between them. According to Instagram, a creator account is best for public figures, content producers, artists, and influencers, while a business business account is best for businesses looking to grow and reach customers. Now, Instagram's ever changing and our opinions on these account types can definitely be a bit of a roller coaster, especially when they first released creator account. But the first thing to know is that all professional accounts have some really cool features, including contact buttons, access to insights, which gives you really important information about who follows you and the performance of what you post. And all professional accounts also get some great options on how to organize your direct message inbox. Those features are all great, but a business account has a few other specific ones. For us, we love a business account. Why, you might ask? Well, for a few reasons. For a long time, it was all about scheduling our posts. Exactly. Third-party apps were not able to connect to creator accounts, only business accounts. And when we say third-party, we mean scheduling tools, right? They really are a game changer. They save us so much time. It really transforms your Instagram workflow. And so that has been a deal breaker for us for years. We needed a scheduler. Now, recently, we've seen some things maybe evolving, including both account types. So we'll see. And then there's also that feature available inside of the Instagram app, which is exciting too. So things change all the time. Yeah. And we actually recorded another video on our channel that walks you through scheduling your Instagram post for free on the app. So you just need one of the Instagram professional accounts. And we will link that video right here below this if you're interested. Yes. And just to detour for a second here, it is a new were feature, right? It can still get glitchy in moments, but I've found it really helpful at least getting like a few days scheduled ahead and haven't seen as many errors recently as maybe when the feature first came out. So it's cool because it's free and it's included right in Instagram. Oh, that's good news that you haven't seen as many glitches. All right. So let's go back to creator versus business. So creator accounts automatically get access to Instagram's full music library because they don't face the same copyright limitations as businesses do. Business owners need to use one of the few specific account categories to unlock the same settings. So I get that it can be annoying, but the fix is one of my favorite hacks. And you saw us do it earlier in this video, right? So setting your account to the entrepreneur category, unlock those that music library. And I can't even begin to tell you how many times we have people messaging us, DMing us that they don't have music access. So this is that unlock and you will all be thanking us. You can thank us in the comments below. Another important feature to know is while both 
professional account types, allow for preferred email addresses and main phone numbers so that you can be contacted through your profile. Business accounts have an extra option and that is to add your location. Okay, let me show you an example. Here is one of our pro clients at Marcia's Chocolate. She owns a chocolate shop and she can add a address here to the storefront or, and so for certain businesses, your restaurant, any kind of brick and mortar business, you want that, right? It makes it way easier for your customers to find you. That's important. Now you can uh, remove some of these contact features, right? You can customize that in your bio. That's for any professional account. But if you have a brick and mortar, it's an important one. I love that Morgan. And I remember when I had my store on the Cape that people literally could figure out how to get to us, which was down a long windy road <laughs> because we could have the address there. The last difference relates to those fun call to action buttons sit sandwiched between your profile bio and story highlights. Business accounts can choose to include buttons that allow followers to order food, book now, or reserve, while creator accounts don't include the former. Like most of these features, they aren't required and can be toggled on or off with your account setting, but I just love that you have the option to decide. Here's another example of one of our clients using that. So this is a flower shop in Ottawa, Canada. Flowers Talk OT, one of our pro students, and notice that the buttons along the bio there have both the following button, but then also message and shop. So that special shop option comes up as this brick and mortar store, as well as their address. Good stuff. Now that's the breakdown for business versus creator accounts. The bottom line is it really depends on how your business makes money. Okay. So if you're a brick and mortar store, a business account is really a must have, but if you're online only a creator account could work for you, right? Depending on what your Instagram processes are and what your goals are with the account. Yeah. So we're really curious. What's your choice? Let us know below what your choice is. You really can't go wrong when you are getting to connect and engage with so many amazing potential customers on Instagram. Thanks for tuning in give us the video a thumbs up if you made it all the way to the end and we'll see you in the next video.